Ugh, I just read the Southern Service Workers Health and Safety Report and I feel like I'm having war flashbacks to nearly every job that I've worked at. So the USSW worked in conjunction with the Strategic Organizing Center to conduct a survey of hundreds of workers across all 11 states of the Black Belt over their feelings and experiences with health and safety and violence at the workplace. And their findings were deeply concerning. I think the one that really jumps out to me is the fact that 32% of people have reported a heat related illness due to broken or malfunctioning air conditioners. Doesn't that really just call back to the stories of the UPS drivers riding around in trucks with no AC whatsoever, where on hot days they would be sitting in a sweltering 140 degrees Fahrenheit? But yeah, I'm sure it's worth putting a human being's life at risk as long as the company can save a couple bucks, right? Or how about the fact that at least 35% have been verbally abused, including racist, homophobic, and misogynistic slurs. See, these companies can say that they care about diversity all they want, but until we start seeing some changes in the work environment, it's all just talk. And let's not forget that 11% have been SA'd on the job. Now keep in mind, 77% of the respondents to the survey were women. I hold you, I worked many terrible jobs in my life. And the places where I've been racially discriminated at just so happen to be the ones where I'm also overworked, underpaid, and undervalued. So it makes perfect sense to me when 69% of workers say that they fear for their personal safety on the job. And the fact that 55% of them worry about bringing these issues to their boss out of fear that they may lose their livelihood. And it's obvious to me, based on these responses, that workers know exactly what they need to have a safe environment to work in. But let me ask you something. In workplaces where stuff like this goes down, how often do you think that a business owner who only cares about profit is going to go out of their way to make the changes that their employees need without a nudge in the right direction? Now, I don't know about you, but the answer is very clear to me. Talk to your coworkers about the issues you deal with at your job and unionize today.